You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. As, as always, when we're talking about what, what we what we suggest, okay, mm-hmm. and that's what this is, okay. Uh, suggestions. Suggestions, okay. Mm-hmm. Take it or leave it, mm-hmm. okay. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Mm-hmm. The way we like to skin a cat Where did is, that saying come from? Okay. Uh, There's more than one way to skin a cat? I don't know. Who's Ted? Who's Ted? Is Ted on? Ted Thompson? <laughs> you got to know where that came from. Who okay. skins cats? I don't know. I just... I mean, I just, I just thought of that. Like, sorry. That was we, a squirrel we, moment. We, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm working here. I know. I'm okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, so you, you were saying? I don't forget. <laughs> I'm old. See, the thought leaves me. Now, now, now I gotta get to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go take a leak. You know, if that one hits you, your mind leaves. You know, anyways. Okay. okay. But there's more. There's more than one way to do things. Okay. There we go. So in in, in our way, okay, is how can we do things that is the easiest to systemize? Mm-hmm. Okay. Which makes it the easiest of, that you can replace people, so no one you're not held by anyone or right. any one thing, mm-hmm. okay, and create the most freedom, okay. So that that's how we come at it. So yes. certainly, there's many ways to answer the phone. There is, and there's there's lots of you know companies that are successful with, mm-hmm. you know, with, I mean, it's a whole circus act, you know, <laughs> and it works, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, we just didn't want to do this whole no. dog and pony show. Well, again, we're just, our, we're just the facts. What just the facts. Just the facts, ma'am. Okay. Um, yeah, because again, we, we wanted to um, create a system to where if some someone left or whatever, that it was an easy system to train, and that right. person on the the phones um, didn't have to be um, totally knowledgeable or even knowledgeable in the least about plumbing. Which is why we titled this show clueless be clueless that's why, right right we want to be the, the csr needs to be clueless when it comes to plumbing on the phone okay we're not answering plumbing questions right, right? so right there they don't have to know about plumbing mm-hmm. okay um, we're just mickey's gonna... looking it up thanks mickey okay all right <laughs> and they don't have to um um we really prefer female so i may not be sound politically correct but mm-hmm. let me um preface that as well mm-hmm. look um when, when we get into what you know some things here that they need women just do better okay um our female customers feel more comfortable talking with a female mm-hmm. us guys no matter we, we we sound um a little bit more aggressive our voices are a little bit more straight you mm-hmm. know um not as friendly mm-hmm. okay and, and guys also, usually don't talk up here with energy right right with energy right mm-hmm. energy and, and so and even the guys that call in no you know guys we always like talking with the ladies mm-hmm. you know it's just so it's it's more it's more comfortable right okay yep. so there we have it okay okay so you ready okay sure. so as always here we, we break it down to make it easy okay and there's three good better <laughs> best Okay, good, better, best. Got your mm-hmm. options here. Well, these aren't mm-hmm. options. Yeah, these okay. aren't options. Okay, you but, but there are three. Them. Good, better, best. Right. Okay, let's mm-hmm. get it. So number okay. one. Number one. Number one. Hit it. All right. Take control of the call. Take control of the call. Okay, so let me say, we get this. I, I got this all okay. the time when I was on the phone. Yes. See if this sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they call, you know, Mrs. Jones calls in and says, mm-hmm. um, yeah, how much how much do you charge to, or, or how much um, is your hourly rate? Mm-hmm. Or, you know, that, that kind of... How much to fix, your wa- fix my water heater? Right. Right. And they hit you right up with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. And what do we want to do when, when, when we... We're we want to answer every single one of their call, their questions. <laughs> Work with me here. No. That was a lie. That's, That's not right. true. No, we want to respond back to them um, with a question, right? We never, ever, ever want to answer their first question right out of the gate. Right. Ever. So we want ever. To, we want to take control take of the control call. Take control of the call. Right. Because really, when a customer calls in, um, they don't call plumbing companies very often, so they're unsure of what the process is like. So an easy thing to ask, or a, kind of, a, a common thing to ask, is how much, or what do you charge, or you know those types of questions, right? Right. Because um, they don't know what else to say. Most people don't call, call up and say, I need to book a call, book an appointment with the plumber. They're just not gonna say that. They're gonna ask a question. That sounds intelligent. Right. Okay, um, if you ever heard me say this, mm-hmm. no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. 
What? All right. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Revolutionary. So their day has been put off. So they're already feeling a little out of control. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I've got to deal with this, or now I got to tell, and now I got to call somebody, even the guys. Mm -hmm. I got to call someone, and, and, you know, I really don't know what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So an easy way. So they're calling Mm -hmm. in a, in, um, um, an insecure position. Yes. So we want to make the customer feel call it feel as uh, secure, secure as possible mm-hmm. and by answering the questions and allowing them to pepper you with questions okay even with a question that makes sense to them mm-hmm. sparky's okay. telling us stop banging the foot <laughs> oh. so we're, what are we doing is it this thank you sparky <laughs> right so yeah we're hitting something and yeah we our our new setup is coming and it's going to get better but yeah anyway right. thanks sparky um let's see jonas said they ring at silly times at 8 p.m don't answer your phone at 8 p.m right yeah don't okay don't, first of all don't yeah, don't, don't answer, answer your phone at 8 p.m 8 p.m you're that's your we're family talking time. freedom lifestyle here right okay not mm-hmm. a slave okay that's right and just because you're a plumber plumbing company doesn't mean you have to work 24 7. you do not okay Trust us, right. you do not. You, you do not. You, do you can not. make a lot of money mm-hmm. by not, okay? Mm-hmm. And have a life too, okay? <gasps> Crazy. So yes. they've called, mm-hmm. all right, and, they're, and so they're looking for security, Correct. okay? By the way, all, all the, the stats tell us that the number one concern is not how much the job's going to cost. Mm-hmm. The number one concern is, will the plumber show up today? Right. Can I even get this done today? Right. Okay, so yep. they're wanting, they're calling to get it done today, mm-hmm. okay? And so they're insecure, and so they're gonna try to sound intelligent, and so it's a very intelligent thing. How mm-hmm. much is this thing to ask? How right. much does this cost, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. By setting back and allowing them to pepper you with questions and to answer that question, answer that question right off the bat, now it's just gonna scare them. And right. say, okay, well, uh, I'm just calling around getting some ideas or right. estimates, okay? Yep, All right? shut it off at five, you're right, So Adam. you So you wanna take control of that call right Absolutely. away. Absolutely. And what have I heard for 18 years? <laughs> Are we giving away the secret sauce? Well, I can give it the one, the one part here. Okay, And then, All right. we'll, then we'll reel them into the other, okay? <laughs> All right? So we always say no matter what the person says when they call in. So how, how much do you charge to, for a, a water heater? Um, sure, I can help you with that. Have we done work for you before? How much is your hourly rate? I'm sure I can help you with that. Have we done work for you before? My cat's stuck on the roof and the roof's on fire. Can you come get it down? Sure, I can help you with that. Have we done work for you before? And I'm serious. Okay? No matter what. You no want, matter what. You want I, to- there is not one single thing that somebody could mention right now They say, well, no, you couldn't answer that question that way. Right. Not one. Okay. Not one. Um, let's see, Charlie, 734. Oh, yep, 415, office isn't locked. No evenings and no weekends. That's right, Charlie. So, right. every time, sure, I can help you with that. Have we done work for you before? You have now gained control of the conversation. You're the one asking the questions now, right? right? If someone calls in um, and they say, um, do you have a, a service call fee to come out or a trip charge? And you answer them and say, well, yeah, we do. It's $49. Well, I mean, that just then the customer's like, okay, well, now what do I do? And then they're thinking, is $49 normal? Is it high? I don't know, right? And you've provided no value at all for that $49. And you got them thinking about what they are afraid about, spending money with a plumber. Right. No one wants to spend money with a plumber. No, they don't. Okay, whether it's $50, $500, $5,000, doesn't matter how low, it could be $5. Mm -hmm. They don't want to spend that money with a plumber. So they're looking, I know it sounds silly, um, even though they've called you, they're looking for a reason to hang up on you, okay? Because <laughs> they so, just don't want to do okay? it. They so they're lo- they're insecure, mm-hmm. and you want to make them feel secure by taking control of the call, mm-hmm. which lets them know, hey, these people are going to take care of me. Okay, it sounds like they, yeah. she she knows what what she's doing. She's not her first rodeo here, right? right? So you're taking control of the the entire call, and you're the one asking the questions. Okay, always. Next. Mm-hmm. So that was number one. Leads us right into take control of the call. Take control of the call. Number right. two. Uh, okay, uh, is to empathize. Empathize. Did we spell that right? Empath. I think empathy. <laughs> okay, like sympathy. <laughs> yeah. Don't say you know some, but mm-hmm. empathize with the caller. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And what, what do you mean by that? Empathize with the caller. Um, so, again, you're asking them, you know, or responding back, sure, um, I can help you with that. We've done work for you before. Um, and they answer, however, and, um, you know, yes, you have. No, you haven't. It's true to say, okay, well, um, if they're a repeat customer. Okay, Mrs. Jones, well, great. We're so glad that, that you've called us back. We love our repeat customers. Um, and then you're going to pull them up in the system. 
confirm their email or their um, address, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then, then you're going to say, okay, well, Mrs. Jones, you said at the beginning that um, you had an issue with your water heater. Why don't you tell me what's going on, right? And now she gets to tell her story. And I want to stress here, it's about her story and about the story, mm -hmm. not about what size the water heater is. Okay, I want to get with, with it's that. It's gas or electric, okay, so upstairs, downstairs. Okay, so for our plumber downstairs. owners and, and the plumbers in the field, it don't matter. <laughs> okay, all you, you know, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. All right, it just says, this customer says there's a plumbing problem in the house. That's all you need at the very end. Right, and this so, is... So to walk them through all the stuff, what size, right. how, you know, mm -hmm. where is it at, and that kind of stuff, now mm -hmm. is really going to scare them. Because right. that'll even make them uncomfortable, because they may not know exactly that, that and information. And then they feel dumb. And they feel dumb, right? Mm -hmm. And they start thinking, boy, this is going to be a big deal. This is complicated. Right. Well, I'm just, I'm calling around mm -hmm. and just seeing, you know. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and Bob's saying one of the problems um, is once the customer gets used to talking to the owner, that is all they want to talk to. You're right, Bob. Well, let's talk about that because that, that's a thing, right? You have to retrain your customers because normally when the plumber right. owners, this is a side note here, this one's for free and I'm going to charge you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> when the plumber owners have been the one that answers the phone for so long and customers do get used to being able to get the plumber owner. Um, because they can work you. But yeah, right. And right. They, they feel like, you know, they've right. made it to the top. They're, they're going to get the best deal, get taken care of the best. Right. Um, you have to retrain the customers. Um, so if a lot of your customers have um, your personal cell number, you have to change the greeting on your cell to say, um, you know, hi, this is, I'll use Bob. Hi, this is Bob um, with City Plumbing, it's right, City Plumbing. Um, and um, if you have a, a plumbing issue, please call the office at blah 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 you give the phone number um and that's it and let them call in okay don't answer the phone if it's a customer like only answer the phone if it's someone you absolutely know a friend a family or something but nothing to do with plumbing you have to retrain the customer if you keep answering the phone and yourself what? because really and, and yourself we have a lot of times the guys just feel like compelled i got i got to answer the phone mm -hmm. i got i got to take care of this this is a customer all oh, this is um, oh, this you know, is Miss Jones. We've been doing work for her for 10 I, I years. Got her. And, I, I, only mm -hmm. I can take care of her. No, mm -hmm. that's okay. You're, Not true. You're, you're sticking yourself. Okay? Right. And right. again, you're, you're training the customers how to behave. And so what they'll do, they'll call the office based on the number you gave them. Um, and they'll call the office and say, yeah, I need to talk to Bob. And he does all my all my plumbing. And he talked to, to him. And the, person, the CSR needs to say, sure, I can help you with that. Have we done work for you before? Right, and then you go into, and if they really push to talk to the plumbing business owner, you, you have to not allow them to do it. You have to tell them, you know, he's got me now. You know, I'm I'm in the office. I I book the right. calls. I take care of the schedule. Right. Um, I can get you taken care of. But under no circumstances are they allowed to talk to the plumbing business owner anymore. Right. So that okay. was a side note. Yeah, Bob's no longer in the field. Well, I really he does all my work. Well, you know, Bob's no longer in the field. Mm -hmm. uh, he man he manages the guys now. Okay. And even if you are still in the field mm -hmm. and you have another guy, for sure you're going to mark that that, that job. Bob's not going to that. Yeah, don't job. say Bob. Okay, right. we're not. Bob's not going. <laughs> right. Okay. Yep. So right. there you go, Bob. That's how that's done. Customers always.